Hello, I'm Dr. Bill Wagoner. Welcome to today's Tuesday Tip. Today I'd like to talk briefly about New Smile's pre-veneered or signature crowns. For many years, the aesthetic restoration of badly broken down primary incisors was limited to composite strip crowns or open-faced stainless steel crowns. Now, many young pediatric dentists may be unfamiliar with the open face crowns because there are now alternatives with much better aesthetics. But for those young pediatric dentists, I'll explain. An open face crown was done by cementing a stainless steel crown on primary incisors and then using a high speed carbide burr to cut away the stainless steel from the facial of the crown, creating a window. This window was then filled with composite to give the stainless steel crown a composite facing. Now, this was more aesthetic than a plain stainless steel crown, and it was fairly durable. But it required two steps, it was time consuming, and it was usually the problem of dealing with gingival hemorrhage seeping into the composite during placement due to traumatizing the gingiva during the stainless steel crown placement and the aesthetics still weren't all that great. But 30 years ago, New Smile introduced the signature crown in which the composite was bonded to a reinforced stainless steel crown in a laboratory procedure, and then it was shaped and highly polished, creating a one-step clinical placement procedure in which the crowns could be placed in the presence of bleeding without compromising the aesthetics. Over the past 30 years, over 5 million signature crowns have been successfully placed and they've shown a durability that's better than composite strip crowns in several clinical studies. The new Smile signature crowns are now in their sixth generation with better than ever aesthetics and durability. They're easy to place and widely covered by Medicaid and other dental insurances. Now, as you know, a little over 10 years ago, primary zirconia crowns were introduced as a durable, very aesthetic, all-white primary anterior restoration. As good as the aesthetics and the durability of the signature pre-veneered crowns are, the zirconia crowns are even better, in my opinion. But there is still a very high usage of signature pre-veneered crowns across the world. I'd like to list just a few reasons or clinical scenarios as to when and why preveneered crowns might be used. Number one, in an instance where the gingival health is poor and gingival bleeding is difficult to control. Generally speaking, hemorrhage control is very important during the cementation of zirconia crowns and even more important for strip crowns. And the same thing goes with moisture control. But signature crowns cemented with a glass ionomer or cement generally mitigate these problems. Secondly, if you have an uncooperative child, a preveneered crown may be the easiest and most predictable restoration to place. Another scenario is when there's not a lot of clinical crown remaining. Some practitioners feel a little more comfortable placing signature crowns on these teeth because they can be placed subgingivally and crimped slightly, although very carefully on the lingual, allowing a little more of a snug fit and better retention than the completely passive fit of zirconia crowns. A very practical reason that these crowns may be placed instead of zirconia crowns is the third-party reimbursement issue. As I mentioned earlier, preveneered crowns are covered by many Medicaid programs and insurers, while zirconia crowns are covered by far fewer. Finally, another reason some practitioners prefer to place preveneered or strip crowns versus primary zirconia crowns is that they've been using one or the other for many years and they're pretty satisfied with the result and they're just reluctant to leave a procedure that they've had predictable results with to try something different. They're afraid the new technique won't match up to their previous results. I can certainly understand this mindset because I'd placed thousands of pre-veneered crowns over 20 years and I was almost always very pleased with my results. So it wasn't an automatic switch for me from pre-veneered crowns to zirconia crowns, but rather a gradual progression. But now, however, it's rare that I place a pre-veneered crown because other than the issue of compensation, I can control for most of the other variables that initially may have prevented me from using a zirconia crown. 
I will say though that the uncooperative child is still a big obstacle for placing any interior crowns because a reasonable level of cooperation is required for all of them. So today I've reviewed a number of reasons why signature preveneered crowns still have a place in the pediatric dentist armamentarium. You know, there's an old adage, if the only tool you have is a hammer, you tend to treat every problem as if it's a nail. However, the more tools that you have in your pediatric dental toolbox, the more alternative treatments you have, and the less likely that you have to treat every clinical case exactly the same. For more information on New Smile Signature Preveneered Crowns, visit the website at newsmile.com. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time.